I'm very proud to announce the arrest and arraignment of the ninja burglar. For 10 years, Robert Costanza committed over 100 burglaries on Staten Island and dozens of others in the tri-state area. It is estimated that over the course of this 10-year uh, period, this spree, Mr. Costanza made off with more than $4 million in goods, including cash, jewelry, watches, and other items. Mr. Costanza was arraigned today on three counts of burglary in the second degree. My office has been in consultation with the locally assigned defense attorney and the attorney of record on this matter. And with their approval, I can announce today that we expect the defendant to plead guilty tomorrow to a superior court information, and the parameters of that sentence will be released. At there are many homes that he actually went back to a second time. If he, if he uh, discovered that there was a safe in the premises, he would go back and try with the tools to open uh, the safe. The NYPD detectives uh, will not let a, a crime go unsolved, and I'm happy to say, in this case and every case I've seen, always get uh, their suspect. Uh, there's no question that he had an appearance that resembled uh, what we would consider a ninja uh, with a hood, with a black hood, his face covered. Uh, um, but um, in terms of using um, nunchucks or any other type of weapon, we have no confirmation of that process. Uh, he did not leave DNA evidence behind in all of the cases that I've shown you here, except for the case uh, in uh, Connecticut. And that was one of the things that helped uh, in his capture. As I mentioned, this case is solved because of great detective work and also very clever and insightful uh, legal work done uh, by our office and getting that confession. He um, benefited in his mind from all of the publicity and cases where people thought it was the ninja burglar when it wasn't, it was him and it wasn't, uh, and that added to his ability to be successful. However, I want the people of Staten Island, and particularly the residents of Grimes Hill, Emerson Hill, Toad Hill, Lighthouse Hill, Castleton Corners, Silver Lake, West Brighton, and Grasmere, as well as the folks in New Jersey and upstate New York and Connecticut, to rest assured knowing that the Ninja Burglar case has finally been solved.